Hey guys, Jim Grant here for Ammo Land TV, and it's January. That means SHOT Show, sort of. A lot of the Omicron, Persia, whatever variant going on has kind of put a wrench in our plans here at Ammo Land, but we do have some boots on the ground, and so I've got some coverage for you right now. So these are my top five picks for SHOT Show 2022, day one. And I'll tell you more importantly, why you should care about them, and a few reasons why, well, you may not care so much. So, what's number one? Well, it's the one everyone's been talking about already. That's right, the FN America High Power. Now, it's spelled H-I-G-H-Power, not H-I-Power like the traditional ones, because this is not just simply a reimagining. No, it is a brand new gun. Yes, functionally it is identical to the original Brownings, which is definitely a very good thing, but a few aspects of the design have been changed by the engineers at FN America. And paramount amongst those is the magazine capacity. You are no longer limited to the traditional gun's 13 plus one round capacity, but instead they have upgraded the gun to a 17 plus one magazine capacity. Yes. Now all we need is an RMR cut and a pick rail, right? Initially, FN is offering the handgun in three different finishes, a black, a stainless, and a Cerakote FDE. Now, the most impressive part here about the entire design is they managed to make an FN high power in FDE that doesn't look like crap. And that blew me away. When I first heard it, I thought, no way, it's gonna look awful, but it's kind of doing it for me. Not my first choice. I'm a, I'm a classic guy. I want it, you know, hard-coated black or ideally parkerized, but it's pretty damn good. Well done, FN, well done. The new high power will retail for around 1200 bucks and up to $1,300 and some change if you get some of the different color variations. Next up, number two, the POF Phoenix. This is a nine millimeter large format handgun slash pistol caliber carbine. And it looks very much like a submachine gun, though obviously it's not. And it definitely includes some very interesting features like a folding forward mounted charging handle like an MP5, an ambidextrous bolt release slash magazine release, and a pick rail at the back for mounting a brace or if you get the tack stamp, a stock. And all that sounds really, really great, and it is, but there's one aspect that I'm kind of eh, on and you may be the same way. It utilizes a proprietary 35 round magazine, which if we know anything about proprietary magazines for not inexpensive companies like POF, is probably gonna run about $50 a magazine. I hope I'm wrong, maybe it'll be 30, but given how prolific the new Scorpion Evo mags are, I mean, come on, that's the magazine you should feed from. Now I'll give them props because anytime they make a pistol caliber carbine that doesn't feed from a Glock magazine or a traditional kind of bent submachine gun looking magazine, Awesome, aesthetics are much, much better. And despite its very futuristic appearance, the POF Phoenix is actually just a direct blowback firearm. Nothing wrong with that, but we can expect it to have a little bit extra heft in the center of it, but alternatively, to run very, very reliably. We'll see later on when we get a review one, hopefully in the near future, MSRP 1699. Which brings us to number three, from one of my favorite companies out there, kel -Tec. yes, the P15. Now, you'd be forgiven if you didn't even notice the gun because it looks an awful lot like their really subcompact 22 they came out with a few shot shows ago, but the P15 is actually a nine millimeter handgun that measures less than an inch thick. That's awesome for concealed carry, but it's not some single stack, low capacity gun. Oh no. The kel P15 feeds from a stagger columned double stack, 15 round magazine, which is awesome, especially given its size, and it only weighs 14 ounces. That's huge. MSRP is $425, and availability is supposed to be quarter two, but it's Caltech, so who knows. The good news is that once you actually find one, it'll be a hell of a little handgun. And that brings us to number four, the MFP21 by DRD Tactical. Now, admittedly, I really like the aesthetics of the DRD guns. They kind of look like the Masada, uh, had, a, had a child with a scar, and then an FNC got involved somehow. They're really cool looking guns. Uh, they're definitely not cheap guns, unfortunately. And the MFP21 is no exception. With a retail price of $2,500, this super subcompact AR pistol that features a pick rail at the rear, a phase five manufacturing kind of reach around style bad lever for ambi release, and pretty much otherwise all standard AR-15 controls, is designed explicitly for deep concealment, at least in terms of an AR pistol can be deep concealed. And despite its very ACR slash scar appearance, is actually just a direct impingement little pistol. Nothing wrong with that, but I think given the price point of 2,500 bucks, people were expecting something a little more scarish. 
But if you want a product that's a little off the beaten path, it is a pretty cool looking firearm for sure. And that brings us to our last product of SHOT Show 2022, day one. That is the Taurus TX22 SCR competition ready. Okay, it's, it's a standard double stack magazine 22 Taurus pistol they released earlier, but now it has a tandem cross compensator on the end, an integral micro red dot mount, because you can't really put an RMR on a 22 unless where you mount it is otherwise stationary because the slide is pretty light on those guns and the added weight will definitely affect reliability. I digress. It's a cool little polymer framed single action only 22 handgun designed for the, the now growing 22 steel challenge matches coming out. And it looks like a pretty cool addition to their product lineup. Say what you will about Taurus USA, you gotta admit they're at least trying something new and they're definitely pushing the envelope much further than they have in the past. MSRP is $589. And one last thing to note is that gun includes three magazines. So it's basically competition ready right out of the box. Well, I appreciate it, guys. Thank you for tuning in for this SHOT Show coverage. We'll be back here relatively shortly. If there's any products you want to see more information on or learn more about, be sure to drop a comment in the comment section. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more Ammo Land TV. For Ammo Land, I'm Jim Grant, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.